There is growing concern over the mental health of young people. According to the CDC, teenage girls may be struggling the most. Tonight, a conversation with a San Diego mom and her daughter about their journey navigating her battle with depression and mental illness. We should warn you that some of what's talked about may be triggering for some viewers. Here's CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal. It started with the anxiety. I was always upset. I was always crying. I isolated. I withdrew from everything. Christine Fry was 11 years old when mom Debbie realized something was wrong. So when did you start noticing a change in Christine? We knew in sixth, fifth, sixth grade when she'd had struggles with the um, sleeping over at friends' houses, when that became a pattern that about midnight or one in the morning, I was getting phone calls. She says things got worse. She put her daughter in counseling and therapy while Christine was dealing with a lot of the same issues many preteen girls face in middle school with friend groups and just trying to find her place. She also started hearing voices. I was not the type of person to explain my problems. I wanted to keep them inside, you know, be that strong figure. She battled depression and loneliness, and at one point, she says she even began cutting herself. In 2014, she wandered away from school during a psychotic episode. Her parents were frantic. It was probably the most difficult three hours of our life. <laughs> you know, going to school and she's not here. What do you mean she's not here? When her dad found her. He cried for the first time I've ever seen in my life when he found me. She finally told her mom, I don't know if I can stop from hurting myself. It's so difficult when your child is hurting, you feel that pain, I think, incrementally more. Christine was admitted to an inpatient hospital program for kids. At 13, she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. She's been on medication ever since. How hard was it, Debbie, to watch your daughter struggle? It was very difficult. This was like the quintessential perfect childhood. You know, straight A's, everybody loves it. sports, activities, church, everything was perfect. So it came as a, a shock. According to the CDC, rates of suicide, self-harm, anxiety, and depression have increased among adolescents, and it started even before the pandemic. In May of 2020, emergency departments nationwide saw a rise in suicide attempts by kids 12 to 17 years old. During February to March of 2021, the number of cases involving girls in that age group was up 50 percent compared to the same time in 2019. There was a 4 percent increase for boys. Unfortunately, I'm not surprised just because I've seen how difficult it's become for young people. But when you feel that lack of motivation and you feel that lack of socialization and just not enough connection. So sometimes those thoughts do pop into your mind. It's like, well, what is my purpose? You know, do I have the worth here? Is there a point? Christine made it her mission to help people like her. She founded the organization called Brain XP to change the language of mental illness into something more positive and to let other young people know it's okay to reach out and ask for help. What not to pack if you are going to a teen mental hospital? Don't her videos on TikTok have thousands, even millions of views. And they come to me as their support person. And even though I'm not a mental health professional, I can't provide everything for them. Sometimes that's all they need is a friend. She knows she's lucky to have a strong support system. Her mom has been with her every step of the way. There's no stop and end. It's a, it's a journey. I travel the journey with her. They hope talking about their journey gives someone else the courage to do the same. Kelly Hesedal, CBS 8.